Asquera say, Mre Zimbabwe, welcome to our channel Zim Confessions and Deep Secrets. Kanakar kiku tanka kuku ya paneno channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Kanakar kiku wakaro ka subscriber, don't forget to comment and share this video. Nas Mre Zimbabwe, tagui grain ya buritswa. Ne political activist who are based in the UK, Kerina Mujati. Abuda ashtara is mamiru aswa kaita. Ma Vice President Constantino Chiwenga Varfana wakontra Koku Varfana waku Konfanta Munangagwa Shinzi Azuna Umira Mushi The Zimbabwe's power struggle Ina Umira Mushi Anzi Mamiru Azuna Gaita Atikuzoti President Emerson Munangagwa Vacha Konti Nyeri He's the President Beyond 2030 Kana Kuti So Azuanzi The only way Yekuta Zuzite Klee Chiwenga Varfana wakontra Koku Konfanta President Emerson Munangagwa Abuda Kirna Mjati Ashtaraya Chiti Chiwenga must confront Munangagwa and the cost of silence in Zimbabwe's power struggle. And the political landscape in Zimbabwe has been marred by betrayal, deceit, and bloodshed. At the center of this dark theater is Vice President Constantino Chiwenga and President Emerson Dambuzo Munangagwa, two men who have risen to power through a shared history of military intervention. However, this once solid alliance now teaches on the brink of collapse, with Chiwenga facing a, peri a, a perilous, perilous choice to confront Nangagwa or risk being consigned to the same fate as Joyce Mojuru, another victim of Nangagwa's ruthless, ruthless, ruthless ambition. Chiwenga, the architect of the coup that deposed Robert Mugabe, was instrumental in installing Munangagwa as Zimbabwe's leader. It was Chiwenga's military prowess and the loyalty of the armed forces that gave Munangagwa the throne. But power, once tasted, breeds an insatiable hunger. Breeds an insatiable hunger. Munangagwa, now drunk on power, has become a callous, self-serving dictator, willing to discard and destroy anyone who possesses a threat to his dominion. The suspicious deaths of several generals who played pivotal roles is elevating Monangagwa to power. Roles in elevating Monangagwa to power should serve as stark warning to Chiwenga. These are not mere coincidences, but calculated moves by a man who sees anyone with a, with a claim to power as an obstacle to be removed. Monangagwa has shown that he is willing to go to any weight to secure his position, even if it means eliminating those who were once his closest allies. In this context, Chiwenga's current approach, marked by silence and cautious, appears dangerously naive. Monangagwa is not a leader who, who respects diplomacy and subtlety. He is a man who thrives on fear and force. To continue this soft approach is to play directly into Monangagwa's hands, allowing him to tighten his grip on power while he's systematically dismantling any opposition. The time has come for Chiwenga to confront Monangagwa head on. The vice president must recognize that Monangagwa is not an immortal ruler, nor is he a divine figure beyond reproach. He is a man who has time and again demonstrated his willingness to crush those who oppose his family's ambitions. Allowing Monangagwa to continue unchecked is not only dangerous for Chiwenga, but for Zimbabwe as a war. In a country where power is often maintained through violence and intimidation, meeting evil with evil may be the only language Monangagwa understands. Chiwenga must draw on the, car must draw on the courage of his ancestors, who did not stand idly by in the face of oppression. It is time for him to stand up to, his, to this abusive and grateful dictator and show Monangagwa that his actions have consequences. Remaining quiet is not diplomacy, it is surrender. Chiwenga must remember that silence in the face of tyranny is complacency, complete complicity. If, if he continues to shy away from confrontation, he will not only lose his political standing, but also his legacy. The people of Zimbabwe deserve better than a leader who allows himself to be pushed aside by a dictator masquerading as a president. A president. Munangagwa may be powerful, but he is not invincible. Chiwenga has the opportunity and the responsibility to challenge this evil before it consumes the entire nation. The stakes could not be higher, and the cost of inaction is too great to bear. 
kwa boda kitoa na Kerina mjati mwenye Zimbabwe akitoa it is time for Chiwenga kutawani kwa Chikonfranda e, president Emerson Mnangagwa akanga boda za kare before this tweet as tarehe ya Chimukanya Chiwenga has to be confrontational with Emerson Dambudzo Mnangagwa otherwise this soft soft gentleman approach he will go down the Maimujuru way Mkanya Chiwenga you made the bloody coward Emerson Mnangagwa to be the caller's super engrossed self self serving dictator to be where he is now how can he think he can just treat you like a push over he can kill just like all these suspicious deaths of the generals who elevated him to be president of Zimbabwe as he so wish Emerson Damazo Mnangagwa must be confronted head on he isn't immortal neither is he the divine ruler of any Zimbabwean that he can beg he gives people that goes against his family ambitions bring quiet is being quiet isn't the diplomacy Emerson Damazo Mnangagwa deserve evil must be met with evil so is fire for fire man mukanya chiwenga kuambire hakuna mbwende stand up to this abusive and grateful bastard and sorry excuse of a human being called Emerson Damazo Mnangagwa ED is evil beyond certain deeds and capabilities tozoka buda zvitaura na Kevin Mjati ngazoti nena see nya e should vice president Constantino Chiwenga be confrontational to Mnangagwa kana kuti wezwe are there any power struggles between vaviri ava kana kuti they know each other vangomira matens ekuti mumwe apinde kuti vakatiri kuita kune maruma zvaripo ekuti Uh, the women's league is pushing for is pushing for Mabel Chimnomona Kutapinde as the vice president of Zimbabwe and Funga Panyaga Bridge on Majera Jairos Chora Iachiti in October 2024 Zano PF Women's League is putting forward Mabel Chinomona's name as the one to succeed Chiwenga as the VP ahead of Pam Chiguri Kashiri Munangagwa's side kick Virginia Mabiza and Oxida Munangagwa are pushing this agenda citing the need for a woman in the top three. However, women in war veteran in the war veterans association want Opa Muchinguri Kashiri to be considered instead of Mabo, who they say was only a chimbuido. All previous VPs were war veterans. I don't see the Virginia Mabiza Kabao succeeding it. It appears things are getting more tense. Labrashtawa na Majera Jairus akatawa zokari achiti ED left eh, VP General Chiwenga uh, is now acting president unless if and if unless if this is going to be reversed somehow for those in women's league make sure that you are not involved in any corrupt activities because state apparatus yakaba muhondo is after yakaba muhondo is after you ndazie kuti muona sei nyaya kufamba mzano PFE tudzeza mufunga pamsoro penye i mu comment section